Hello, I'm Cyril Police, and welcome back to another episode for my Roman campaign. In my last episode, I fought a major battle against the Ligurians outside the city of Mendlon. We did win, however, I chose not to besiege their city, and now we will move south and try to take on the powers of Carthage and Syracuse. So for now, I'm going to bring my legion right over here to Genua, because if I do not, they will rebel very soon, as you can see here. Wow, they're very unhappy. Now we have changed that. It's funny how... A few thousand armed men might change the opinion of a local population. Okay, so for now I want to bring up Legion 2 from Roma, and I want them to go ahead and hold this location for right now, just because I want to bring in my most powerful Legion down south to handle the affairs that we need to deal with. So the first Punic War would have been fought from 264 BC to 241 BC. That means that was a 23 year war. I cannot imagine. I mean that is ba uh, basically a person's whole young life there, or at least the very earliest years of their life spent in war. Alright, so let's go ahead and look over here. And at Vela 3 I could build up some stuff, but I don't think I shall just yet, but in time I will. I need to save up my money so that I can go ahead and make people a lot happier in Genua and we can change their culture as well. I have the money so I shall build them a sacred grove and that should change their opinion at least a little bit and also their culture. Right now it's at 92% Celtic culture. Okay, now with that said, I'm going to go ahead and bring you up a little bit further and then after that. Let's see, I'll have to wait until next turn to swap out their legions. We need to look at our technology. Now, I need money. I need a lot of money. So we shall begin to research for economy. And if I research all three of these technologies here, I'll get a bonus. And that will give me plus three food, which is like having a little farm. So first off, I'll get the iron tools. The hardest sword can be broken by an iron plow backed by an iron will. <laughs> all right, so that's what we shall do. I don't have a lot of money at this moment so I'm gonna go ahead and end this turn right now actually wait wait diplomacy we need to handle diplomacy so Liguria we no longer need to fight you and I which means that we will have a peace treaty very good now from that point on let me go ahead and look at the Libyans now they're no longer a client state of Carthage which is curious oh they actually took over that location that's really weird now would you like a non-aggression pact you would not what about a trade agreement you would not. Alright, fine, fine. We won't do that. And then there's the Benetti. Now, I, I would like to trade for them, but I will not pay them for it. They will either say yes or... Okay, no. <laughs> it's the only alternative. A non-aggression pact. What about that? They said no. Maybe in time they will see the error of their ways and they will do so. Okay. Now we can end this turn. Let's go ahead and do that right now. And essentially, Rome wanted to expand and diminish the power of Carthage, and Carthage was the preeminent dominant power of the Mediterranean, at least on this side, and they were very, very strong. They had a very strong navy and a lot of powerful mercenaries. Now, what happened is that there was a fight between the people of Syracuse and the people of Massalia, and so they had a conflict, and Carthage intervened, and so Rome took this as their chance to finally intervene on behalf of, I believe it was the people of Syracuse, but don't quote me on that. And so from that point on, Rome attacked over here at Massalia. And so they had... Oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at this here. These people, they're so happy. I love it. So from that point on, let me take out my Legion and move on down here. And then Legion 2 will move into Genua. That or they will revolt. And I do not want that on my hands right now, but hopefully it will be a very tiny revolt if it did happen. So from that point on, I can save my money and keep upgrading this location. Actually, no, I can't. I have nothing left to upgrade. Now, what will I upgrade over here? I need to upgrade quite a bit. I might need to change this port over to something else in time. Alright. Let me look down here. I want to expand this location, but I don't really need a recruitment zone. It's back in Roma, where I have that. Or Italia. So, I'm going to go ahead and make... Let me keep looking. A cattle trader. That's a possibility. I don't really want that. So, I think I shall wait then. Is there anything that will help out my men in combat? I guess not. Alright, so we'll just wait off on that and save a little bit more money so that we can build some more potent buildings. Now, that said, let's try again a trade treaty. At times, they will change their mind after a turn or two. So we'll try it again. Okay, never mind. That's cool. What about the tribes over here in Illyria? Now, the Illyrians were often confused for tribes over in the Veneti, so I thought that was very curious, but they are in close proximity, and so their culture might mesh a little bit there. Alright, so you don't want to trade. That's cool, man. What about you fellas? Well, you can't trade me. And then there's you. Would you like to? 
Okay, no. We'll try again in time, as I could use more money. Alright, let's go ahead and end this turn as well. Ah, oh, man, so this should be quite interesting. In 256, it was when a Roman fleet landed and established a beachhead in Africa. And so they were there for quite some time, and Carthage was ready to give up. I mean, they were tired of this war. They were ready to just say, hey, you win, it's no problem. However, the terms that Rome set were too harsh, and so Carthage had to fight on. They refused to give up quite yet. And so from that point on, in 255, Carthage would come back with a new army, but this time they would have elephants and a lot of cavalry. And so they were able to expel the Romans from their land in Africa. Oh, good, you've increased in rank. Very good. And we might have a rebellion over here in Cisalpina. How lovely is that? Once again, they're unhappy. Now, what is causing you to have so many issues here? Okay, a cultural difference. Sure. What about if I don't tax you for the time being? That will change things for a little while, so I shall do that for just a moment. And we'll have to wait for their culture to change up and also for this sacred grove to be built as well. Now, Legion 1, let's keep moving you down here. I could go after Libya, which if I did that, I wouldn't have a war with either side here. Hello, Carthage. You're still under siege on this side as well. Yeah, they've been through a very bloody war. You can kind of see how tired they are. Alright, let me keep looking though. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this into a Roman village, or maybe over here, a Roman colonia. Hmm. I think for now, I'll go for this. Okay. So, household expands. Mm-hmm. Send to pool. And then over here. Send to pool once more, and I need some more technology, and like I said, I want to focus on my economy for a little while. So next I will get common weights and measures. How much is a handful of grain, or of olives? Whose hand is used? Exactly. I'm trying to rip me off of my olives. Not today. Alright. Oh, right, right. We have a skill to handle for the young lady. Well, she's not so young now, but still, we will call her that to make her ha happy so that she won't poison us. There. Young lady, I shall make you a better actor. Let's end this turn now. And from that point on, we will build, in time, a legion comprised of our allies. And by that, I mean the Sulki. The Sulki Hastadi and the Extraordinari. Now, the Extraordinari, I brought this up in the past, too, were the chosen men. These were elite men that were chosen from Rome's allied states here. And so they could be at the direct command of the consul. And they were very good at what they did. All right, let's keep looking now. Ha, 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 I see. And then, in 254, the fighting would resume in Sicily. Now, what would happen is that in 241, that is when Rome brought over 200 warships. And so, at that point, Carthage had no choice but to surrender, and they did. And they lost quite a bit of land, too. Sicily and the uh, Lipari Islands. I believe they lost some other lands, too. Now, I could build a Temple of Mars up a little bit. I would like that because that would help my military. But I want auxiliary barracks for now. Let's see, Silky Equites, Equites Extraordinary. I like that quite a bit, so I shall build that right now, as I want to build an auxiliary army, if possible. And it is. I'll just have to think about how to build their army, because there's not a lot of sources about what they had, other than basically how it would work. There would be two Roman legions, all right? And then from that point on, there would be two allied legions as well, and they would have this term, which I'm not really sure, uh, sure how to say, and it's... I guess original wording but it's I believe A L A or it could be A L A E and this would be called a wing and so I shall use the term wing from now on and so these uh, fellows would actually have more men than a common Roman legion they would have I believe up to 5,400 men and they would comprise three quarters of the cavalry that these legions would have so they would have a lot more of that all right let's keep looking real quick such as the Campanian Cavalry, who are very well known for their riding skills. I was surprised to not see them here, but I guess they just gave them that vague term. Silky Extraordinary Equites, or whatever. So we're all done here. We have to pass a few turns in order to get down here and begin fighting. So it looks like these fellows, this Greek city, has become quite powerful. I mean, they've been all over. However, I cannot attack this location because they are blockaded, which means that I'll have to go over here to Carolus, most likely, or... This location over here, Lily Bomb. So for now, I will end this turn. And there we go. Uh, and also, Carthage had to pay their war reparations. Now, because of that, Carthage didn't have a lot of money. And one thing that Carthage did have was a lot of mercenaries. And so these fellows had to go home. And because they weren't being paid, well, 
you had what was called the Mercenaries Wars. And so from that point on, a fellow that we may all know, the father of Hannibal, Hamilcar Barca, had to lead his own army in order to defeat all of these mercenaries. And that was quite a savage war, too. All right, let's see. I believe it lasted for four years, too, until Hamilcar was able to recapture all of his lost land in Africa, which really elevated his power. And so, because Carthage lost a lot of major land out here in the Mediterranean, I mean, these places were very important to trade, they decided to go over to Iberia, and that is when Hamilcar went with his son Hannibal and his son-in-law, Hasdrubal, and so they fought there, and well, he fought there for nine years until finally dying after fleeing from a Celtiberian army. So from that point on, they were able to really get a lot of wealth from Iberia, and that would basically lead up to their building up for the Second Punic War, which we will talk about at a later date. Not right now, naturally. Okay, the Temple of Mars. Do do do. Here's the Vela Three. Here's Genua. And I'm a lot more comfortable talking about these historical topics. I've never really done this while playing a game, so I wasn't really certain about how to go about it. But I'm feeling a lot better about it, and I'm having fun. I've been learning so much more and relearning what I may have forgotten in the past, too. So I really hope this has been enjoyable for all of you as well. Even though right now we're not having a fight. I mean, we had constant battles there for quite some time. So there will be an episode where we might not have as many fights, and so you'll just have to listen to it to my voice. I'm very sorry. <laughs> anyway, so that is what will be happening. Oh, yes, indeed. And so we shall see in time what will happen very, very soon. I wanted to finish off the fellas in the Cisalpine, which is basically northern Italy. However, I did not want to fully do, do that quite yet. If they want to build up, I wouldn't mind that whatsoever. And I guess I want it to be a little bit more historical, even though Carthage should be having land down here in Sicily. But fine, fine, fine. All right, so we have that technology now. Let me go ahead and build up some more stuff here. There's a hidden agent. How lovely is that? Alright, we'll go back over to economy and work on double cropping so that we can get the bonus and have a little bit more money. Let's go to diplomacy. And then from that point on, there's the vanity again. Look, buddy, you need to trade me. It's a wise choice, really. Alright, they went for it. I didn't even have to pay for it. Alright, am I trading with you fellas? I don't even remember. Yes, we are. I can't trade with you. I could trade with you if you said yes, and I would like that. Let's see. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is Carthage actually doing well in Iberia? Oh, they might be doing well there, which means that I could actually have a very powerful Punic War with them. That would be quite enlightening. But first off, I want to go after these guys over here. Syracuse. Oh, how I hate them. Alright. Let's keep looking. I'm making a little bit more money. I would like to trade with a few other tribes if possible. And it is. Greetings, they just need friend. to say yes. Say yes. Okay, no. Never mind. Don't say yes could even trade with Carthage, but I do not want to, even though I would like for them to become even more powerful. I might go after Libya first if they're not a client state of Carthage, though. That would be a good base. Oh, dear. I was confused for a brief moment, or not confused, but I mistook this for a city that I own, and I was like, oh, dear, they're about to rebel. That would have been very bad, but fortunately, they did not. Are you still besieging them or blockading them? You are, and they have a large rebel army, too. Ooh. I don't like that, so I think what I'll do, then, is cross the sea. We shall do a forced march, and I hope at some point we will be required to have a navy in order to, you know, transport our men, or we could be in big trouble. That would make a lot more sense, and I'm sure in time that will happen. Also, to let you know, if you're not aware, and I may or may not have brought this up, I am using the Radius Total War mods in order to enhance the campaign and the battle AI. What's happening here? Oh, wow, Liguria retaliated and was able to beat these fellows. Ooh, I don't like the sound of that. So we've done all that we can for the time being. Da da da. Faction over here. Look at you, Lucius Julius Libo. Libo. And then here's Nias Cornelius Scipio Asina, 59. Then there's this fellow. They're all still alive. Well, good for you. Though they will be dead in time. <laughs> Sorry, but they are old. So it has to happen at some point. Yeah, so I'm really going to have to think about how to build my allied legions here. What I would like to have happen is have Legion 3 go with Legion 1, Legion 4 go with Legion 2, so that I will have two legions travel together. One will be a normal Roman Legion. The next one will be their Sulci Extraordinari and all that mess there. And so we will have our Auxiliary Legion help them out. So we can't have the full format due to scale, but we can at least kind of simulate it and kind of work with that. And then I could have my 40 unit card battles, which would be ridiculous. And Libya... Who destroyed Libya? Interesting. That is very interesting took them out. I would like to know that. 
I really need to send my ships down there. All right, we have a population surplus. I have a lot of money at this point. I'm still trying to make this location happy. Now, how happy would they be if I left? How happy would they be? Not very. Okay, well, they're happy enough, but we shall wait here for a little bit longer. We're still converting their culture. And I want to enhance what I have over here in Roma. But for now, I want some more growth here and money. So we shall build this. Boom, done. All right, so from that point on, Legion 1 going to move out. And we are almost ready to land here, which means that I'll have to declare war on Syracuse, which are not allied to anyone, so that would not be an issue whatsoever. Unhappy populace. Oh, as usual. What about over here? Well, I know they're unhappy. I don't really care, though. Admiral, huh? Good for you, buddy. Encourage populace, I see. Neapolis. I wonder how powerful... I want to kind of let Carthage become very powerful in Iberia if they could. If they could, I would be very happy. I wonder who they're at war with. Let's go check that out first off. Then maybe we can know. Let's see, there's their client. Who's over here. I don't know how much land they have, though. I really want to find that out. So... Hold on, let's go back. Up, up, up. There you are. Okay, so from that point on, you have a big chunk of land here. You have this province and this one up here. Very good. And let's see, you're at war with Garamantia, which I believe is in Africa. And from there, you're at war with the Edivachi. And I will help you out against Syracuse very soon. You know what? For now, let's trade with them. Why not? Oh, we can't. Okay, what about... I mm. wanted to help you out. Let's see. That won't work out either. Fine. Well, okay, you won't go for any of that. That's fine then. I'm not too mad about that. New Carthage, what about you? Non-aggression pact? No, what about trade? I really wanted to enhance their strength so that they could become a very great foe of mine. Alright, let's end its turn too. They just need to give some major bonuses to the major factions. I mean, they should be a juggernaut, especially Carthage. They should be a lot more uh, powerful than Rome at the very start of this campaign. Now, I'm sure that'll change in time, and I'm not really too concerned with that. So I guess we'll find out. Then, from what I've heard, a lot of people have been having some massive AI empire. So I'm looking forward to fighting one of those and hopefully being crushed. I want to lose a campaign. Even though I would get a lot of flack for it, I would enjoy that. I would enjoy having to just put my all into a campaign and having to fight tooth and nail in order to win or even survive, for that matter. Alright, I have a good bit of money. It is currently 248 BC. Oh, we're really passing time here. Yeah, it would be in 247 when Hamilcar would take over the operations in Sicily and fight here for quite some time until, well, he had to go back home. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. We need to take up quite a bit of land. I should be happy up here, which means that I can begin to build up my forces, most likely. Let's see. Will that work out? It will. They're not too unhappy, so we're going to move this legion back down. Let me go ahead and have them do a forced march in just a moment. Add it to do. Oh, we are already doing that. All right, good. We'll move back down to where Roma is. I want to upgrade some stuff. I have a good bit of money. And see, that's for money, wine trader, delicatessen. More food. I don't really need that, though. Livestock buildings. I have. I don't think I have any of those for the time being. Amphitheater. I could build that in the future if I wanted to build a lot of military buildings. But for now, a wine trader will do. And then I know that I need to expand my land here. I will do so in Roma quite a bit. Just not yet. Okay, so from that, from that point on, I can begin to fight these fellows. Let me change up my stance over to none. Syracuse. Look at you. They actually have quite a little army here. I almost want to wait for one turn just to see what they can do. There's rebels over here and Lily Bomb. Can I e even land here? I would like to. Okay, good. I can, I can land there. So let's go chat with them and declare war now. Here we go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. We have a treaty. Let's cancel that. There we go. So from that point on, we should declare war. Boom. They have no allies. I think I lost some of my standing. That's unfortunate. Alright, I want to get up here. Apparently, I can't land here without having to do a naval battle. Well, I don't want that. <laughs> Clearly not. Alright, I'll have to wait then, because I want to go by land. There we go. I'll have to wait until next turn. I wonder if they'll try to take any of my cities. If they did, that would be really impressive, and I would be happy about that too. Fortunately, Legion 1, or sorry, 2, is over here. Alright, let's end this turn as well. Oh, and don't worry. Once we get about to the Marian reforms, I will begin to go over the histories of every single legion there is. So we're going to be learning a lot here. And really, I don't mind it. It gives me a lot to talk about. It gives me a lot to discuss. And... 
Like I said, if I'm ever wrong, please approach me in a very civil way. I can't be right about every single tidbit. I mean, even when I was in a university learning stuff, I knew that certain things that the per the professor may have been saying was not fully correct or not right whatsoever. But, yeah, I mean, you approach it in a nice way, or I guess in my case, I'm just, I just don't bring it up because usually they don't handle that very well. <laughs> Let's see. Legion 2, House of Julia. Quintus... Okay, Calidus, I'm going to go ahead and let you have a general and bodyguard, even though the Triarii general is very powerful. Very good, so looks like we've lost our... Oh, he was wounded and managed to live. That's what happened. Okay. So I have some money. My technology needs to go ahead and be worked on a little bit more. I have some more food. That's always nice. I'm going to work on my... Let's see. Minus 3% building construction costs. And here I would be able to get some concrete and an aqueduct. And a gladiator school, I do not really want that, so I will work on a scholarship right now. The man with learning does not thrive by mindless toil. He, His is a harder way. Oh, ho, clever. All right, I could upgrade my buildings. I would like to. Genua is still unhappy, unfortunately. I'm very upset about that. I can get a champion now, which I need to. I need to have one train up and level up. So let's look at their skills real quick. Let's see. We have... Da, 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 over here, and over here, military training, plus 30 per turn. I like that the most. So I think what we'll do, show force, do, 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 and his target's army. Adventure, no, I'm going to go for this guy then. Gaius Camillius Tolus. You shall fight for me, friend. How can I serve Rome? Oh, you can serve Rome by shutting up. No, I'm just kidding, it's me. <laughs> Let's see. Auxiliary barracks, so now we can build up an auxiliary legion, which shall be legion 3. I'll have to give it an appropriate name so that we can denote them as being a auxiliary force. Alright, Cosentia. Sparta, look at you marching out. Man, I cannot wait to see how they will expand. I'm very excited. It is the Senate and People of Rome. Tribune of the Plebs, huh? Neat. Look at you, buddy. Moving on up, huh? Alright, let's end this turn as well in just a moment. Can I move down here yet? Almost. I can move here, but I can't quite make it to their city, which I will be able to make it... Oh, they'll have a rebellion, too. Thanks a lot for that. Ugh. Unfortunately, they're at war with a lot of people, so they're not really able to retaliate against me very well. Oh, I don't mind. I mean, yeah, Rome did have some tough fights at this time, but, I mean, we really probably wouldn't at all. We did fight a pretty big battle against those Celts up north, but that was about it. That was their one major army. We attacked them before they could really build up, which is why I fought them, so that we could diminish their strength, and that way I wouldn't be ambushed if I fought Carthage, because I didn't know that Carthage would be kicked out of their lands here, but that's fine, too. I won't hate them too much for it. <laughs> Let's keep looking, though. Come on, now. But also, the Vinity here, oh, who were just destroyed, these are called the Adriatic... Vinity, and they should not be confused with the Vinity, who would have been over here, about over here in Br in Brittany. Those are not the same ones. Those are the Gaul Vinity, or the Gaulish Vinity, however you want to term it as. And these fellows conquered our poor trade partners. I'm very sad about that, but we'll deal with it for now. Okay, so we have a few men down here. I still have some money. I want to build up a shrine of or a temple of Mars next. Genua, are you doing all right now? Are you happy? You're happy. Good. I want to tax you very badly, but I will wait off on that. I need more money, so I think what I'll do then. Let's see. A harbor. That's pretty nice. That would be in Neapolis, but I need a place called a shipwright instead. Not that, I, not that you really need a navy yet, though, to be honest. That will give me a lot of food, but I want a harbor. That's what we shall build then. I could build up my military, but I don't need to just yet. All right, let's see. Military training. You shall train up my forces here. And they will become very proficient at combat. Let's go down to Carolus, and then from that point on, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here, and I shall see all of you later, and as always, until then.